All right, guys. So tonight we are actually in the woodshed. Um, hopefully we won't have any of the wind noise that we had on the past couple of videos. We got some good lighting in here, so hopefully you guys can see uh, what you're here for. All right, so today we're going to be um, talking about this little signal generator here. I got this thing off Amazon for probably 35 or 40 bucks. Um, for the price point, you can't beat it. You can drop this thing and break it, leave it behind, whatever you want to do. Um, and it's not really going to hurt your wallet too bad. You can pick another one up, have it shipped to your front door within a couple of days. Um, so this thing, you know, is not really something that I'm going to use every single day. Um, but whenever I do need it, it's been super helpful. You know, whether it's, um, you know, testing a VFD, um, you know, you know, giving it a, uh, an input reference, you know, whether it be uh, 4 to 20 milliamp or 0 to 10 VDC or uh, troubleshooting um, unitary controllers, PLCs, anything such as that. Um, this thing has a rechargeable battery so that you uh, do not have to carry batteries around. So that's a pretty nice feature. Um, I've actually only charged it one time and that was whenever I first bought it. And I've used it probably, I don't know, seven or eight, nine times since then. Um, but at any rate, we'll get right into it. So you turn it on and immediately it's going to display uh, what the output voltage is currently. I've got it set, um, probably can't see it here, but it says voltage. If you wanted to toggle over to milliamp signal, you just simp simply press the mode button um, and now you're uh, doing the milliamp signal. And of course you would have to change the configuration of the wiring here. So we'll set it back to VDC. And just to show you guys how accurate this thing is, we'll turn on the Fluke 179 and you can see that both devices are reading 10 volts DC, okay? And so we'll turn it down a little bit and see if it tracks along. 8.6 VDC, 8.6 VDC. 7.4 VDC, 7.4 VDC. So, you know, we can keep going, um, you know, but that's, that's basically this little guy in a nutshell. Like I said, for a price point, you can't beat it, man. Um, I would definitely pick one of these things up if you do any amount of uh, troubleshooting that requires reference signals. And while you're on Amazon, Go and pick up one of these little hard shell cases too. Um, that way, you know, you can really abuse this thing a little bit more. Um, super helpful tool. Get you one. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And we will see you on the next one. Thanks.